The Hong Kong Polytechnic University, PolyU, is a university with a proud and illustrious history. Formerly known as the Hong Kong Polytechnic, the institution assumed full university status in 1994. The university prides itself on its quality application-oriented academic programs and research. It has close ties with business and industry. It's the largest publicly funded tertiary institution in Hong Kong in terms of the number of students, with 28,000 full-time and part-time students. It's got a vast pool of alumni, nearly 300,000. We had uh, an old identity access management environment. It really was creaking and it was time to look at where to go next. Well, I want you to imagine what happens when you build um, an identity access management system from scratch and as the university grows and becomes more complex, you add bits and pieces to it. So what you have is a, is a series of um, ill-designed bits and pieces that join together that become harder and harder to manage, where the logic that you have to follow, that you want to change, is all hard-coded. Essentially, it's about flexibility. It's about responsiveness to client needs. Those things simply were not possible with the existing product. The existing product is old and needs to be retired. PolyU engaged an identity and access management consultant. The consultant was asked to look at the framework, the identity access management framework the requirements that were used uh, and needed by all of the faculties and departments. The consultant went through and had a very, very careful look at all of the options and all of the needs that the university had. The Novell solution was not a proprietary solution and that was a factor in our choice. The universities uh, worldwide are growing in terms of the need to communicate and to interact. So there are, there are business reasons why the, the extent of identity access management has to grow. One of the initiatives that uh, you will be aware of is the growth of e-research. This is data-centric research. Researchers worldwide have to share these data sets in order to collaborate and generate the sorts of solutions based on, uh, on research. How do people work with each other? How do they enter each other's environments? How do they know that this person is entitled to be here and to use this, even though they might be in a different country? Federated access management is something that universities with a research reputation want and work towards. We have to trust each other. It's a federated trust environment. So we have to get it right internally. We have to make sure that we know who is doing what when, that they're allowed to do it, that we know exactly who they are, and that's the reason why we have to go to our data the access management framework. And that's the reason why we ended up selecting Novell. So the main objective of the uh, IAM project is to build the IAM infrastructure, the framework and the services that can address the range of business requirements that we have. And they include reducing business risk, providing flexibility and agility, being able to cope with organisational structure change, to be able to deal with the internal moves of staff and students and other categories of users. To meet the needs of the community, to deal with the new provisioning of services, to deal with single sign-on across the board, to provide access to different resources, to effectively save the time and effort that now has to go into individual products having to build identity access management functionality. By withdrawing that out of those environments, we can provide better services, we can integrate more easily, we can provide access more simply, and we can truly meet the business needs of the university. The Hong Kong Polytechnic University's investment in the IM project provided by Novell is an essential ingredient in the future growth and development of the university.